so here we are. I hope you can see my mouse cursor on here. Uh, this isn't an ordinary map. Um, this is a drone safety map. So if I go in on the area that I'm in, which is the Coventry area, if I just zoom in, what you'll see come up are a whole bunch of colours. Yeah? Um, you might be able to identify some straight away, like let's say this one here, as being the runway entry exits for airports. So this map is um, it's like gold, really. Because look, if we just go out slightly again, you can see the area that I fly. So I'm going to show you the area I fly because this is of my main concern for me <clears throat> while I'm in this area. This is the map that I would go to so I can just check to see what restrictions are here. Uh, these restrictions in red, um, this is for airport, no go zones, class D's. These yellow restrictions are for ground restrictions where, yeah, I'll, I'll pull it up actually, so here we are. Um, this is an area of increased risk, glider site, Snitterfield glider site. The yellow zones indicate regions where operation of your drone may ri raise security, privacy or safety concerns. Okay, so if we look at this area, let me move that out of the way. So if we look at this area, um, where I am, so we'll get in a bit close and you'll see the building where I fly from uh, pretty quickly. There it is, a little tiny thing there, but even from this sort of height, um, it claims to be a thousand meters according to the um, altitude here, but you know, that's not the case at all. Well, I just don't know how to read that. And so then in the area where I live, you'll see these other areas, these yellows again. So these are all around schools, we've got a cemetery here, um, and it's just generally around school areas, um, and there is the park here, the Abbey Fields. Now these are not no-fly zones. These are not zones where it's just uh, prohibited, but these are zones where you um, yellow zone indicates regions where operation of your drone may raise security privacy or safety concerns so these areas are not red zones they are not you're not allowed to fly but they're areas where we need people with common sense you can't just fly there while there's people around or in close proximity with people you know i've flown there before but i go there at five o'clock in the morning where i might just see one person you know, and over the time when I was flying, I got to know the couple of people that would go for the park, and, and I never had any issues. The area that I fly now, as you can see by this yellow building, um, you'll recognise that if you're watching my videos. Um, you can see there's no ground safety zones for the area that I fly, which is just generally down in this area. Um, there's nothing, and I can keep going down this area for a good while. And there's absolutely nothing much, but I can get 25 kilometers out of this area. Um, you'll see there's absolutely no big security area um, because they're not coming to what the airports do. But even if I go in close, which is what you want to see, we want to see the land marks. So over here, you'd be able to see them more fill in in a second. If I could just go out as far as I can go while they're still there, damn, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? If it was just one more, uh, hmm. but anyway, so I can go all the way down this area because I tend to fly down towards um, Hatton Park. I've flown across here before, I've flown across here. Uh, now, again, these are uh, I've flown across this area before, but again, it's not a you're not allowed to fly there, it's just like you know, you, you've got to be really careful. I tend to fly through here anyway, so again, for me, there's no, there's no issues there. Uh, and I think the furthest I've got down to is round about here, because I got about 10 kilometers out, uh, about 10.08 or something, wasn't it? 10 kilometers, 80 meters. So for my flying down that way, it's absolutely, you know, it's it's fine for me. It's a good place for me to practice, and uh, and I'm not going to be upsetting anybody anytime soon. Even the blue zones, uh, these blue zones are for areas 
like um, this doesn't come into force this big blue zone here for uh, I think it's a few days when they've got their some royal air show going on there's gonna be flybys over this area yeah so this is a temporary and if I click on to this um, you'll see active in six days two hours um, so it's a restricted area temporary for fly past that royal I don't know what the rest of that is going to say but it's a restricted area but it also does mean that this is giving notice some of these areas um, that they are going to be used for fly zones so yeah so this this map is freely available to everybody as you can see it's um, if you type in https parallel forward slash forward slash www dot s u a s n e w s so that's uh susnews.com forward slash drone safety map dodge html so you'll be able to go over your area now i don't know when you guys are flying but let's just pretend someone's down here in wales um, we'll have a little zoom in down this area and we'll see what we got here so yeah there's restrictions still plenty of space there to fly but wow and the nice thing about this though is you can get some idea of uh, the terrain that's always nice when you're flying the terrain I just thought I'd share that with you because you know if, if you want to have an idea of where you are what if you're okay to fly there or even if there's any restrictions going to be coming up or restrictions that um, are in place already and this is a great map for finding that this can keep you out of trouble there we go so yeah get it check it out now for you guys in the in, a, in america i don't know if it's going to be the same thing all i can do is zoom out and go to uh let's go across the pond to our left let's go into the united states error getting map data oh Longitude must be equal or less than 180. Okay, let's just see if it's going to work anyway. Uh, let's go into New Philadelphia. See if we get any of the restrictions there. I don't know if this map is going to be any good for America. But then you're going to have big, massive open spaces. These guys can fly. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, wow, look at this. Look what we got going on around here. Okay. Okay. Okay, so one more in to get to see the map there. <clears throat> wow, let's go to some of the, the bigger areas. Um, I mean, I'm not that. But let's get down to the, uh, to the coastal areas. Uh, New Jersey. Sorry for the map. It's overlays. Is it going to give us? Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so. I wonder what it says for these guys here. Okay, so. Airport, Pasquale Manuel, oh, airport, 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 Stallone airport, really? Did he get his own airport? <clears throat> What's this? Newcastle, uh, Wellington, Class D, Class E2, oh, I don't think you want to be flying in that zone there. <clears throat> but there you go, you see, even for the Americans there, guys, uh, cousins across the pond, um, he's got places named from what asked of his. Look, Newcastle, you've got Newcastle, what's going on? I've just saw an Oxford as well. Nottingham. Please tell me I'm back in the end country, this isn't right. <laughs> uh, airport, but no, these are not our airports, so just making the names of our places. Unicorn, you've got a place called Unicorn, really. <laughs> uh, loving it, loving it, loving it.